when I'd come through town, hear them playing on the trampoline, jumping up and down on the trampoline, their dog playing with them, and now total silence. A small town in shock. That's after a woman and three children found dead in a Noble County home. Wayne 15's Marcus Truccio has been in Wilkettville all day, speaking with neighbors. He's there now, and he joins us now live with the latest. Marcus. Dirk, Indiana State Police say the four autopsies the bodies found in this home have been completed. The woman has been identified as 32-year-old Rebecca Hughes, and the children are 8-year-old Evelyn Newell, 6-year-old Allison Newell, and 5-year-old Amelia Newell. This all started yesterday morning when the Wolcottville police were asked to do a welfare check at this home on South Main Street, right near the center of town. The officers discovered the deceased in the home, and that's when Indiana State Police took over the investigation. Wolcottville is a small town. All day, as drivers pass by, they turn to look at the house because they heard what had happened. And a small memorial is growing on the steps of the home with flowers, candles, stuffed animals, balloons, and a sign that says, Rest in Peace, Sweet Angels. Pam Laughlin says she would see the girls at Bible school uh, where she was involved in town. My heart hurts for these kids. <laughs> I'm getting older. I wish it could have been me instead of them girls. Because I've lived my life. These little ones, <laughs> they didn't even stand a chance. I've even spoken with strangers who have stopped by to drop off things on these stairs because they say they felt like they just had to do something. People have met for the first time at these stairs and exchanged hugs. And one particularly emotional moment that I keep on witnessing are small children stopping by, probably from the ages of 5 to 10, sharing their stuffed animals and leaving them on the steps here. Now, as we said, the Indiana State Police did say the autopsies are complete. But we're still waiting to learn how the four people inside this home died. Live in Wolcottville, Marcus Truccio, Wayne 15 News.